Good evening. The first show I did for GB News was on the 21st of July 2021. And the first sentence I uttered was that I felt that public confidence in the National Health Service was about to fall off a cliff. Well, goodness gracious me, I got that one right. Because the British Social Attitude Survey published this morning shows that now, when asked the question, do you have confidence in the National Health Service, the figure has fallen to 24%. And that actually is astonishing when you put it in this context. That is that in 2010, people answering that question were 70%. So confidence has completely fallen off a cliff. Part of it, of course, is getting access to GP services. Much of it is to do with a waiting list for procedures of 7.6 million people. And there are some areas, such as mental health, where the numbers have simply gone into the stratosphere. So we have a very, very major problem. This institution that the late Nigel Lawson once said was the nearest thing we genuinely have to a state religion, uh, suddenly attitudes are different. Yet, when the public are asked, would they be prepared to pay more taxes, to put more money into the NHS, a lot of people, about half people, still say, yeah, just keep pumping in more money. And yet, what's not really fully understood, what I've tried to tell you before, is that five years ago, we were spending about 7.5% of our gross domestic product, our national budget, on the National Health Service. We're now spending over 10%. So we're pumping in more and more money. And yes, of course, we have an exploding population, and we've discussed the reasons for that many times before. But we're pumping in more and more money, and yet becoming more and more dissatisfied. So how do we turn this around? Can it be turned around? Can it get better? Love to get your thoughts, please. Farage at gbnews.com. And maybe, just maybe, if the figure has gone from 70% to 24%, maybe now is the time we can actually have a proper debate about how we reform the National Health Service.